Hello, welcome to another review of Camerader uh, MG uh, Figure Eyes 6. Actually, does it still say MG? Maybe not. Anyway, Figure Eyes, Figure Rise 6. Uh, Mask Rider Fires, Camerader Fires, 555. Five, five. Bleep, 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 standing by. Complete. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool. Um, this thing is slightly smaller scale compared to the previous. MG stuff like the box size is the same, so it's great design for putting all the boxes together in the shelf. Like if you keep all the boxes, but uh, it's a lot thinner, so these figures are a lot smaller, uh, which is annoying because it's not compatible with the previous model kits, uh, Double O's and uh, Ichigo. You know, I still haven't forgiven them for the O's one because they did the combo change giving into the model kit, but you have no other combos to change them into, and you got all these spare medals. Like, what well, can you do with these? Uh, and these ones are smaller, yay, but they're not as small as SH Figure Arts. Uh, some people say they should be about the same scale, so I'll definitely compare that when I built this. Um, I did get the, I don't have a Fies Figure Arts yet, uh, I'm definitely going to save up for the glowing stage one. Uh, but I uh, do. I did get uh, Capital 2.0, which the review will be up on this page soonish. Um, so I'll, I'll come put that next to the Capital. Uh, figure wise and see how the size compares there but apparently they're a bit bigger again this is annoying so damn you bandai like you know not compatible so you gotta get the figure arts and stuff which is a shame because these these uh, model kits have a lot of things going for them with the cabotel you got the cast on cast off gimmick and all the weapons and such and uh, with uh, fires you got you know slightly uh, a lot of film stuff they all work um inside Yep, telling you you can do the if you paint a slide differently. You got the uh, X X X Excel mode. About uh, a kick and such, and obviously a uh, capital advert at the bottom right there. Pretty cool picture of thighs. Thighs. I really hope they do a super best selection for thighs belt. That would sell like hotcakes. Seriously, Bandai, you'll make so much money. That and Kabuto belt. Now they're doing the uh, complete selection Kabuto adult belt, but uh, that's that's different. You know, that's adult price, not toy price. So you got the uh, gold, the red, the black plastic right there. Not gold, the transparent yellow. Now, if you want to do the XC one, you're gonna have to uh, get transparent red paint to uh, paint the eyes, the effects parts. I can tell right now that the effects parts here okay, but they're not great. And silver, which is important, and you can see the face right there, and uh, black. And thus, you have the uh, instructions manual, which is right here next to me. <coughs> but, this is so cool, I really like that image, it's really cool. Awesome, showing you the details of the inside of the suit. You've got the back with the paint guide, and... Um, Yep, the uh, red paint shown on the eyes here is solid, but uh, it should be quite easy to get transparent red to paint over the yellow because the yellow is a lighter color, so the transparent red can definitely cover it up and it will look red. So, if anyone wants, I can scan this, but uh, hlj.com, you know, this Japanese store site that ships overseas, uh, I'm pretty sure they have it scanned. I saw it earlier, but I don't know how clear the scan is, but they don't have a scan in the instructions manual. So yeah, I'll probably have to build that off camera, and then it'll be like magic. I've built it the entire set in one minute, or oh, well, one second. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so now that the figure is built, the model kit is built. Um, I pretty much go through this like an SH figure arts review. So let's take a look at articulation. Uh, open your eyes for the next five. <laughs> Uh, he's got double neck. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, to put this shortly, uh, these model kits, the, this him and Kabuto, are pretty much SH figure arts that you got to build. So, uh, almost anyway. So double neck joints, just like SH figure arts. Um, so you got the full head rotating thing, and uh, oops, down, up, sideways, sideways. So you know, full, full ball joints and go. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, and then you go down. You got the uh, shoulder pads are clipped onto the arms themselves, just like a trick out. Uh, you got a ball joint here inside, so you can do a lot with his arms. 
uh, full rotation here, a double elbow joint that doesn't work too well because the armor gets in the way. And um, this is a bit different. This is kind of like um, Figma fist. It's got a little peg line there, like a little dot dent, so it does pop in and pop out and just slide out. But um, that, that kind of limits the articulation. Uh, however, the bit inside the lower arm is a it's it's got its own little swivel joint inside, so it gives it some extra hand movements. So you got the upper chest and the lower part both articulated. Um, the phone's not in there; it's in next to me actually. Uh, so those two joints. You got the legs up and down, up and down. Just like as if you got, you got this little two double joints inside the hip itself. Full rotation here. Double knee joint. Uh, no toe joint, but uh, you do have a pretty much a Revel Tech joint here. It's not clippy, like it doesn't go, but it's a smooth one. Well, it's a Revel Tech joint, and for some reason, um, it feels better than Revel Tech. Like Revel Tech is like, aha, this is our specialized joint. We are so great at it. And our figures, this is the selling point of our figures, and yet this model kit from Bandai is just like, yeah, we can do it better than you. It feels really good. Uh, and finally, one last bit of articulation in the chest itself. You can actually do this. So uh, you can have uh, Fire's Excel mode. Here we go. It's like, ready, um, start up. And it has that arm piece that you can change, but we're going to assess reason why. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good articulation. I do have to point out that uh, all the joints inside, just like bigger model kits, the actual pla the, the holes for the pegs to go in and the joints are made of a slightly rubbery plastic, which gives it some grip when you peg the arms into the joints. Uh, a lot of the joints have little dents in the pegs, so it goes, it pops in and, and doesn't, you know, if you pull it out, it will pop out and not just fall out. And that that's not supposed to happen. Um, so yeah, um, because there's no metal in the entire piece, it's plastic. So uh, let's take a look at the accessories that come with them. Oh. Zoom! Uh, so he's got the uh, fists hands, just like what like SH Brigades would do. He's got a special effects part, which is insanely tiny to be honest, but uh, it just feels kind of tiny to me. Um, you'll see in the photos later when uh, you know, take photos and display, but it looks okay. Uh, not not great, um, but because it's transparent model plastic, it feels very fragile. Uh, what you do with this is you pop it open and then you bend Fine's leg forward like tippy toe, and it slides in there. So put that in the back, uh, and you've got extra hands, well you've got two pairs of extra hands. you got the uh, relax hands, and the uh, gun hand, and the uh, item, the uh, thighs, um, what do you call it, the one where he punches people with it, like it's meant to look like a camera, but it's not. Uh, no, and this hand is a bit like weird here, as you can see, because it's meant to fit in the uh, accessory in here. You got the three different phones, Fi's phones. Uh, these were very tricky to build because uh, they're really tiny and they're fully articulated, which is great. But that means it's now three pieces. You got the body, the screen bit, and this bit joint in the middle. So you can do the fires blaster mode and stuff. It's just so tiny because you know in in Fizer's body you can be like, what he does, he just flips it open, pushes a button, and stuff. You got one uh, without the little fires pointer thing, a little chip uh, fires memory, I think you call it. And you got a solid gun that comes with an attachment here to where you can put the pointer on the top. Pretty much gives an extra peg hole, so you can do that. And have like a little sniper pistol. 
And that's our next bit of two bits of accessories. You got the one that goes in the belt without the uh, memory bit, and you got the one with the memory bit. So you plug this in, and you plug in the phone without the memory, and there you go. And then you have this, which is pretty much the fire's punch thing in the pouch, which is an odd accessory to have because, well, this pegs onto your belt because it's weird because uh, you also get one that's empty. Uh, and the actual fines point thing. So, uh, not not really sure how what, like why they did it like that. Like it, it's cool that it's there because um, actually you know putting this in the slot, it's really hard to pull back out. Like I gotta fiddle with it a lot. Um, so that that's not cool. But um, but I don't know, it's it's good that they give you that extra piece. Like they thought, oh crap, it's too tight. Let's give them an extra piece. And I was like, yeah, I'll have that extra piece. Let's stick that in there. And he, and he, no, he's still missing a finger. I'm not really sure what's going on with that one. I guess it goes in the sword. Probably. Yes, oh yes, it's a sword. This one's for the sword. The other hand, item hand holds this one. Sword goes in. And then. I can't pick it. Can't pick it. Come on, come on. get it. No, uh, I'm gonna go back and have a look at this and see uh, what this is all about. Hmm. Anyway, uh, you also have a little uh, exceed charge. Excel mode. I mean, it does. It's not. It is two pieces here, but you know, plug it in, and that's that. Uh, and finally, zoom out. You have the stage, which comes in this kind of piece like that. You have a bit that extends the arms. You got a forward arm. Oh. And you have a upper. Um, so you know this. I mean, it, I just forgot Stan would have done nicely, but um, I guess this is cheaper. Maybe it feels cheaper, and it's also a model kit, which needs to be a thing with the model kit. So there you go. So uh, yeah, that's that. Just for a quick size comparison, there's SH Figuarts Comrader X and there's the model kit. As you can see, he's pretty much a well, pretty much uh, a few inches taller, which uh, is actually really annoying. Like, why, why does why does it have to be slightly bigger? This is clearly Bandai saying, "Ha ha!" Now, now you've got this model kit. Now you still have to buy the finds as you figure out. And it's like, ugh, it's really annoying because. This has all those accessories, it's really fun, and as you figure out it doesn't have as many movements and such, but no, you still gotta get it because, you know, he's not gonna be the same scale. I mean, um, like if I was to, I mean, if you put them in, in on display, it's fine, but, you know, if you're gonna, uh, I guess, an anim animate them together, he's not gonna fit too well with um, SH Figure Arts. Figure Eyes, Comrade Fies is a pretty good model kit. Uh, it's what you expect from a Bandai model kits. And if I first compare them to something to the West, it's, it's similar to one of those easy kits where, uh, like you see, I don't have to paint him and he'll look sort of relatively like a cheaper toy. Um, and, but he looks the part and the colors are mostly correct. However, if you do want to apply the stickers and you do want to like, paint him up and such, he can look so much better just like he does in the box art and the instructions manual. Uh, the gimmick, uh, slight gimmick of these model kits is uh, the amount of articulation and uh, extra parts and accessories that they can they come with and things that they can do. Now, this is pretty cool, like you can turn them into Komoda Fines uh, Exceed form. Uh, but, it, but the problem is, like sure you can, but for example, he doesn't come, he comes with stickers that allows you to do that, but he doesn't come with, say, uh, red visors. But you know that that's the way around it. You got, you got to buy red paint or red transparent red paint to paint the eyes, or else you're not going to get that effect. And uh, I didn't expect him to have extra, like complete extra 
parts for a completely separate model. Like I didn't expect him to have you know the red lines on his hands to have like silver version. But um but the you know transparent plastic is really hard to paint. With Fines it's okay. With Kabuto he's got like blue eyes and Dark Kabuto has yellow. So you know you tell me how to turn transparent uh blue plastic into a yellow plastic with paint. Uh, and that instructs my eyes, you know, they just look gold, like they just used gold paint and gave up. But uh, with here, here it's okay. Um, I did decide to, because yellow plastic is okay. Now, articulation wise, uh, the figure is pretty good, it's just pretty much like uh, SH figure. So accessory wise, it's it's very decent. Uh, maybe not as many hands as I would like, like uh, SH figure usually comes with a lot of extra pairs of hands, but uh, yeah, it's still okay. Uh, Morning detail is really excellent, there's a lot of tiny little details here and there. Um, especially the phones and his inside chest of this figure. Uh, posing him, as you see, he stands pretty well, uh, but um, you know, if you try and put him in signature poses, it might come with a little bit of an issue, but the good thing is he does come with a stand. Uh, however, it's not a SH figure, it's like um, Tamashi stage, so um, it's slightly annoying that, you know, uh, Fires needs to have a little plug in the back of his body. Hmm. For the price he is, he's he's pretty good. Like if you're not really bothered with scale too much, he's slightly taller than SH Figuarts and that's annoying, but um he's he's really really cheap, especially since how popular Fires is and the glowing stage stuff and um I do intend to pick up SH Figuart Fires. Uh, I did want to pick up the glowing stage one, but I'm gonna give up there because it's it's really more of a gimmick really. I'll just pick him up with uh, the Auto Vanji uh, double pack, you know, bike and figure. So, um, since I want the bike anyway, so it's a good thing I haven't bought him yet because people are like, oh no, no, we can't get Auto Vanji, uh, uh, you know, not as good of a deal and all that. So, yeah, so bottom line is pretty good model kit. Um, I'll do an update uh, when I've painted him, like an extra photos and an extra video, I guess. But uh, as of now, he's uh, he's pretty good. Um, oh, and last thing, by the way, uh, that's his chest piece, that circle piece right in the middle of his chest, that red bit, is actually transparent red plastic. So if you're really skillful, and since this is a model kit, model kit means that there's a lot of empty space inside the body, yeah, you can easily fit a LED light inside and have a light up effect. Um, I highly encourage anyone to, who, who has the skill to light up the head and the chest piece because they're transparent. Uh, oh, one last thing to say is, um, you know, as much as it has the gimmick of moving arms, like his, his chest piece and all that, uh, he is still out of a model kit. And being a model kit means that the plastic is a lot more fragile compared to, say, SH Figuarts, which is more of a display toy. This, yeah, it's sure you can call it a toy, but it, remember, it is a model kit. So. There has been tendencies, you know, there are tendencies that it can snap a lot easier than SH Figarts. And uh, speaking, you know, of snapping pieces, I did accidentally snap a piece on the model while assembling him. Good thing is, you know, I could, I could just use like plastic cement to glue it back together. And the good thing is, it's actually behind one of the uh, silver bits on his arms, so it sort of um, it pushes down and holds it together anyway. So that's that's fine. Uh, I was lucky there, but you know, you really gotta use clippers and you really gotta use like nail clippers and stuff to like sand them down and such. So, uh, tell me what you think of this figure. I'm gonna pick him up, like this model kit. Um, if you played with the previous model kits, uh, so you know, scares and noise, but super cheap and it does look pretty neat. So, subscribe to just comment below and cause take care and have a nice day. And be sure to check out the Capito model video and of course the Capito SH Figures 2.0 video that's coming up.